shaping up as a pretty strong centre line, but the best is yet to come. And let's take a look at the nominations, the final nominations for our centre man. From Essendon, Jack Clark. From St Kilda and Richmond, triple Brownlow medalist Ian Stewart. And from Geelong, Brownlow medalist Alistair Lord. From part-time scoreboard operator at Windy Hill to captain of Essendon's 1962 Premiership team. That was the path Jack Clark took to the top. His career began in 1951 when he sat on the reserves bench next to Dick Reynolds in the grand final. Clark was to emerge as one of the most brilliant centre men the game has seen, playing 266 games for the Bombers and 27 times for his state. The magnificent playing career of Ian Stewart falls neatly into two phases. There was the modest youngster, lured to St Kilda from Tasmania, who quickly became one of the VFL's most skillful and decorated centre men. From 1963 until his shock exit for Richmond in 1970, Ian Stewart played 127 games for the Saints, played a major part in their first premiership and won back-to-back -back round lows. Then he started all over again for the Tigers. Perhaps not the dazzling youngster, but the immaculate veteran, who was to play in another premiership and in 1971 take his tally of Brownlows to three. Geelong's twins, Alastair and Stuart Lord, had everyone, including the umpires, confused back in 1962. Reported in a match against Richmond, Alastair claimed the umpires had mixed him up with his identical brother, Stuart. He was promptly cleared and went on to win the Brownlow medal that year by a mammoth nine votes. A brilliant mover, Alastair delivered countless chances to the Geelong forwards with his precise passing. All told, Alastair played 122 games between 1959 and 1965 with his Brownlow medal form of 1962 climaxing his career. Three brilliant centre men, one of whom will take that post in Seven's Hall of Fame team. And the centre man, Ron, is... The selection, Ian Stewart. Ian, I think from memory, your first game with St Kilda, another youngster joined the Saints and played that day by the name of Carl Ditterich. That's right, Sandy, yes. I think Carl had a few more headlines that day than you did, but do you remember the game? I do very well. It's uh, at the uh, now Fitzroy ground and uh, we're playing Melbourne. Carl was 16 at the time and there was a couple of other young players playing, Bob Murray and Jim Wallace, right. the guy that used to fly down from Combatook in those days, his own plane. But uh, yes, it was a very tired game and I was running through the the centre half forward line position and uh, another Tasmanian at the time sort of uh, scuttled me, uh, that's uh, Bob Johnson, yeah, right. knocked me unconscious. Talking about Tasmanians, why is it do you think that so many of the Tasmanians that have come over here have succeeded so well in Victorian football? Uh, it's, well it's, uh, I suppose that uh, limited opportunities in Tasmania right. over the years, um, They've got a, they seem to have a great desire to want to succeed. Um, at some levels, the junior coaching is better. I don't believe it's better now, but it was better at the time than when I left Tasmania. A lot of good junior coaches in Tasmania. You've had one of the ultimate thrills for a footballer, and that is uh, playing in your club's first ever premiership, St Kilda. Mm -hmm. That must have been a magic day and a probably even better night. Yes, it was. It was a fantastic period, that period, because St Kilda had been down for years and uh, we started to rise and everybody got behind the club and it was a very, very exciting period. And to win that game by one point was a, a fantastic highlight. Ian Stewart, sentiment on Sevens Hall of Fame. Congratulations, Ian. Triple Brownlow medalist Ian Stewart taking the centre position. Let's check the side now. We have from the back line, Jeff Southby at full back, John Beck was in the back pocket. The half-back line is Duell, Knights and Murray, and the centre line, Keith Gregg, Ian Stewart and Robbie Flower. We'll be back in just a few moments on Sevens Hall of Fame with their nominations for the half-forward flankers and centre half-forward.